Oh, yes, she is. Don't you just hate those people who do anything to get attention? Excuse me. What? Please, can you call me an ambulance? Yeah, good one, yeah. No, excuse me, please, can you call me an ambulance? Yeah, I get it. You're an ambulance. Yeah, good one. No, please, call me an ambulance. OK, you're an ambulance. God. Hello? Hello, it's Petri. Petri Hoskin. I know Petra, the dog from Blue Peter. You look quite similar to her. How do I know you? Oh, come on, Timmy. We met the other day. I was filming you. Remember, I was interviewing you at the sperm bank. And welcome back to Health Hour Live, where today we're discussing fertility and the fact that some women might leave it a little bit too late and might need a sperm donor. And that's an incredibly altruistic thing to do. So why, sir, have you decided to give sperm today? <coughs> Sorry? <coughs> well, that's a f***ing waste now, isn't it? an accident the other day. My car went right in the back of this other lady's car. Oh, I couldn't console her. She was beside herself. They were crying like nobody's business. And I had to get her out of the car, put her on the curb. She was like, oh, oh, it's my husband's car. What am I going to do? I had a hip flask on me, you know. And I gave her a drop, you know. Have a bit of brandy, girl, I said. So I gave her a bit of that, calmed her down a bit. Still going on. I said, have a bit more, girl. Anyway, then the police came along, didn't they? They said, who's to blame here? I said, smell her breath, officer. Hello, Petra. Cheers. Petra. <coughs> Don't call me Petra. Oh, she's getting nasty already. <laughs> I've been an admirer of your radio work. Yeah, I'm aware, I've told the police. I tell him that. <laughs> um, I would like to now go back to where you trained. Right, well, I didn't, I come from a, a background, my dad's a, a journalist and a broadcaster. Okay. And when he, when I was a little kid, he used to sort of drag me into the, to the, the in, the, in the old days, BBC used to have, I don't know if they still got them actually, they might still have them. Is like the black cabs, but they were studios. They were studios. Okay. And when people like my dad had a story or a, a report to do, and they couldn't get into the studio, they'd send these black cabs. And so my dad would sit in the back, and they were literally just like a radio studio. And he'd do interviews or whatever it is he had to do. Because we, my mum and dad. I'm going to cut you. Because actually, it's funny now because you do most of your best work in the back of a cab, don't you? Uh, well, funnily enough, I do. How much love? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Cheers. Cheers. Um, <laughs> But I am. Um, so my dad used to, because he was a weekend dad. My mum and dad divorced when I was about four. Okay. So we'd go and stay with him at weekends. And if he had to work, he'd just nip out of the house and do the black cab. So I used to go and sit in the in the black cab with him. I was fascinated by all the radio stuff. Yeah. And I is, it, it, is it mobile while it's doing it? No. No, we well, could just sit there. Well, I, we he it just parked outside his okay. house in okay. Edgware. And um, I remember one time he said, Petra, I'm doing an, an interview about. Um, children, a story about children and their toys. Can I interview you? But don't say you're my daughter because it's going live. And I went, okay, that's all right then. 
I was about nine, teen. Now I was nine. And he's and, and so he's sitting in the back there going, so you've got your favourite toy. And I go, yes, my favourite toy is a panda bear called Four. And why did you call it Four? Well, I got him when I was four years old and called him Four, so I would always remember how old he was and all that kind of stuff. And right at the end weren't of you, the... Weren't you a dull child? I wasn't like a dull child. I mean, really, that's quite Seriously. grown up, isn't it? Four. I'll call him four. Hey, I'll just remember. You said it. Um, Carry on. And then so, I just cut you off. And then I'm right sorry. at the end of the interview, I went, is that all right, Dad? And it went out like, oh. poor my poor father. He kind of had to... Was <laughs> that going out live? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Right. But anyway, so that was probably my first introduction to radio. And I uh, was meant to be going into to university or onto higher education to do fine art and photography. But I fell in love with an actor. Who doesn't? And so I had to... Oi, do you like the sound of her own voice? I wanted to say who doesn't. <laughs> and so I went off to become an actress and I was absolutely, as you've seen, terrible. And I saw an advert in a paper that said that the, a uh, company called um, SSVC, Services Sound and Vision Corporation, were looking for a news editor. I haven't edited news in my life. So I turned up at the interview and uh, said, yeah, yeah, I can, I can do this job. And they, they looked at me and went, oh, no, absolutely no way. But they liked my chutzpah <laughs> and my voice. <laughs> and so they offered me a continuity announcer, which is the, the voice in between the TV programmes. Yeah. And so I did that bit um, out of vision. And then according to the well, news I think you work best out of vision. I okay. definitely work best out. There's a reason I'm on radio, love. And there's a reason you're not acting. You know the saying, once an actress, always an actress. Oh, I do know the saying. But what does it have to do with you? Hey, old girl, <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Cheers. All she gives as she gets. So um, I've been told. How much, love? Apparently, I walked into, this is my, my news editor, Tony Cook, and put my feet on his desk, which sounds a bit like me. I like it. And said... I'm a bit bored of this out of vision stuff. Can I present the show with you? And he went, okay. But I was the, and I was also a reporter, and I was the first girl, woman, to have that job as a reporter. And then the uh, Bosnian War started. And I went out there, and it was, I mean, extraordinary. Never seen anything like it. Nothing. Nothing you've seen prepares you for actually being in a war zone. What about um, Kate Aidy? Now, Kate Aidy came out after quite a while after I'd been there for quite a Was while. She? Yeah, but she did come out. She would do it with pearls, wouldn't she, on her neck? I will. I will. My, my I was going to say, around neck. those soldiers, did you ever think, I want a pearl necklace? So you're out there, all of the. I'm going to be quite political here. You're out there and all these bombs and things are going off. Did you fancy any of the soldiers? Um, they're fine specimens. I didn't mention anything about their bodily functions. They're fine specimens. But there are a couple of reasons for that. The majority of reason was that I was with somebody. And the other, and the one other was... reason, none of them were blind. <laughs> I'm only joking, I love this girl. Then I end up at LBC. In good faith for radio, I've always thought it. Well, about when you do look up people, not only you, but you look up people and you're surprised about their colour, you're surprised about their gender. People are really surprised, some people are really surprised that, that you're I'm not a lady. Black, that I'm not oh, black. black. Honestly, I'm increasingly depressed about how radio is turning into television. No, because they're starting cameras, to, yeah. yeah, everywhere. And I go, who watches now, radio? Are they moving? If you watch radio, oh, you're not talking to me. Yourself. You'll turn into a presenter yourself. Check it. People who watch radio. You want to watch? It's called television. No, but watch also, television. No, I watch radio. I'm going to back. Wrong. Oh, it's a heated debate. Let's have a heated debate. Because I'm going to say, <laughs> you want to know what that voice is? Because you're m busy there masturbating Why? away. Then your f***ing face comes up. <laughs> Why do people think it's important to say, hello, I'm a first time caller? Can I tell you, do you want to be Because, no, I ain't finished. Or the people that say, hi, yeah, remember last time I phoned? You've got no f***ing idea and you've got it on a screen and say yes. And it's got this freak talked about a dog that they walked. And then you go, oh, how was the dog? 
It annoys my f off. First time callers are usually asked to say their first time callers. Are they? Yes. And the reason they say it, and it is a psychological thing, so that other people who are first time callers. Oh, call yeah, exactly. And the other thing, when people say, oh, hello, yeah, Patrick, pretending. Oh, oh, sometimes it is tricky. I don't remember them at all. Um, and it is, but. But you can't blame them for that because what you've got to remember about radio is it is a very intimate relationship. Oh, totally. Um, and so people are connected to me yeah. in a way that is brilliant and I love yeah. it. Yeah, done that, three years on yeah. that. What's happened after the three years? I'm there. I'm, that's what I do now. Oh, I'm oh, LBC. Oh, you didn't go away and come back? No, well, I, I've kind of got sacked a few times. But when you say I mean, kind of, you're American. Um, I am. Are oh, you? Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Is there any rivalry? Do you know what? I don't think there is. And I'm being genuine about this because there's a group of incredibly brilliant women who are currently broadcasting, whether it be on, on BBC or, or LBC, and there's actually very little choice anywhere else. Yeah. But, and we all kind of respect each other. And the reason we respect each other is because we know how much it's taken to get there. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. Now, have you ever taken over from people that have taken a grudge to you? If you've taken oh, over yeah, to them, yeah. who? Definitely. I'm not going to name names. Okay. But you have? But I have. There were the one particular woman. I'm fairly certain she tried to run me over. Do you think you... And you know who you are. You were in a little two-seater just outside of Leicester Square. I swear, she slowed down, saw me and sped up again. Have we got anything before us? Are you happy LBCing? I've written a book. Have you? I have written a book. What is your book about? It's uh, um, it's about cooking, actually, for children. It's called The Gastronomical Guide to Fabulous Food. Okay, we'll go out and buy that. Yeah, That's it is cool. good. And in the meantime, we'll hear you. Hear me on LBC. LBC on a I'm weekend. Doing... That's more your regular spot that's, at the minute, that's, isn't it? I do my, my regular bits And then you'll fill then. in if anyone's taking a sickie. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. But also, I'd like a picture of us on the bed. Who wouldn't? Let's have a little selfie. So let's do it. Oh, she's got right. You smell nice. Do For I? you radio people, she does oh. smell nice. I'm a fan of bacon. <laughs>
But yeah, I understand what you're saying by that. But bless, what about literally, I've had offers. I haven't taken any up, you'll be pleased to know. What if she won't f*** off? Oh, here we go. Here we f***ing go, girls. Ruby Diamond is my stage persona. So he's got stage persona, isn't he? If you want to get high profile work, you need to do high profile promotion. So I'm filming a video of one of my parodies which is Uptown Girl by Billy Joel and my version girl? is called Scunthorpe Girl Well that's Scunthorpe Girl Louder Who's well, Louder playing? to the wife His mates are filming and the wife is on sound Scunthorpe She's so bullied girl, Look at the voice Look at Scunthorpe Girl, girl. Look at these people behind I know the literally like what, what is going what on What is happening? I would love to be Guy. taken up in some kind of comedy role you're telling me. Some kind of feature film. I'm not sure. What about a feature I'm not film? Sure it's that funny. <laughs> telling me. <laughs> not the well funny way he like thinks that. it is. And when I'm Listen to the horrible. He like it. Say, ay, ay. So piercing. Right. But look at the wife now. My oh, can you hear the wife? Oh, Christ. Look at how passive aggressive he is. Look. It... Sorry. It's... I don't know what happened then. Look at. So do you want me to start from the beginning again? Yeah. Yes. I find Ruby a lot easier. I find her a lot easier, she was saying there. And here we go, here's the video. Here we are, Lovely look at the voice. Like that. He's put so much work into it. He's put a lot of work into that, hasn't he? Because he's not I've gay. I don't think he, I, I'm not sure he will attract. Tell him that you said it. <laughs> Although that hat would look good on you. I like that hat, it's the dress. I laugh at it when I see him do it. Well, the guys are loving it though. They are. And he can work an audience. Look, he can work an audience. Hello. Look at, ooh, it's, ooh, you're so hot, I'm sweating. He's not sure though, is he, that bloke? No. What is going on? The other one. What's happening? And this is you in your bath. Here you are. <laughs> what about let's do some bath shoots? Who would do that? Why? Who would start a programme with somebody in the bath? We're all a mixture of male and female. We are all a mixture of male and female. Some more than others. Telling me. <laughs> Stop a minute. Just thought of something. Pass me boobs out of the bathroom. The amount of times you've said bed. that to me when you've had a bath. What part? Yeah, I know, me I, know boobs. I normally leave them in the sink now. There you go. <laughs> I mean, who hasn't said go out and get me boobs from the bedroom? Where's that dog gone? And where's the shit suit gone too? I know where they are. In the toilet. Hang on, girls. You're gonna like this one. Isn't it? I'm looking forward to this. Oh, that's a nice red dressing gown Timmy lended me. To me, you've got legs for radio. And if you can't the heat, out the And if you can't stand the cold, don't sleep on the floor. If you can, if you can not You must be enjoying this, you love going camping. You can Kitchen. And if you can't stand the cold, you're no competition. You can't stand the heat, can't stand the heat, can't stand the heat. Ah, you can't stand the heat, can't stand the heat. Ah, you can't stand the heat. Do you know I'm loving this, but I've really got to go. I've got a radio show. Can't stand the heat, can't stand the heat. Ah. You said it.